Good morning. Welcome to a day in our life. We're waking up in Colombia. You know, we drove here all the way from the USA. <laughs> We're around this little uh, village called Villa de Leiva, which is a pretty cute little town. So today we're gonna walk over there, show you guys around. So they have a whole bunch of shops with uh, a lot of authentic souvenirs. So hopefully we'll be able to do some Christmas shopping for our family. And we also just got new plates, bowl and bowls. Really, really love them and we weren't sure if we were, were going to or not. But we decided we're going to also replace our mugs. So we're going to get like matching ones. And these are our last English muffins. So we have got to go to the panaderia. <laughs> so we're going to go to the panaderia as well. It's the best one that I've been to in Colombia. Actually. Maybe all of Latin America. It's really good. <laughs> so we're gonna go and get ready and we'll bring you guys along for the walk. Let's go back to the van. Found him. You turn on the fans for Grand? Yep, yeah, all good. Okay, all right, let's go check out a cute little Colombian town. The workers at the hostel said these dogs are sometimes aggressive, so we're entering the gauntlet. We're on our way down to Villa de Leva and we thought we would give you some small town tips. <laughs> so every time you pass anyone in a small town, you probably kind of have to say good afternoon, good morning, good night. Good yeah. morning, good afternoon, good night. It's like a Spanish culture thing, but more in little towns. Yeah, they don't do it in big cities, but they almost every little town, people will pass you and say buenas días, buenas tardes, buenas noches. And you always have to look at the time before you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Another thing is, a lot of people don't have leashes for their dogs, so there is a lot of roaming dogs. And it's a little hard with with our dog. It's kind of fun though. It's the fun. dogs are better behaved than in the US. Yeah. Um, they're usually pretty friendly. They're usually just trying to protect their area. But they're most of them want to play with Sabrita, so it's really not a big deal. Another good tip for that is if they are aggressive or annoying to you, you can just reach down to, and pretend you're picking up a rock and they will always run away. I used to be super afraid of dogs before we had one. It's really no big deal, I guess, once you're used to dogs. Yeah. That stuff used to really scare me. But it's just super common in Latin America that yeah. dogs are roaming around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we actually haven't checked out this church. Let's see what's going on over here. Well, this plaque says that Bolivar visited this church. That's actually the guy who freed South America uh, from Spain. 
so he's a well-known figure, Bolivar. Apparently he came here. So 10 more minutes until noon and then we'll start saying buenas tardes. <laughs> The dogs are cool. Well, we stopped for a little snack with the view of the plaza. So for snack, I had a fejola juice and a juice of lula, which are both very Colombian fruits that we were excited to try out in juice form. <laughs> and we had some of the little potatoes they love around here too, papa criolla, that they put in the oven so they're kind of squishy. And it was really nice having that view of the plaza too. So of course we had to hit up our favorite local bakery. This place is super tasty and we're excited to get more English muffins. <laughs> Ooh, got a rainy day. Christmas presents for my cousins. <laughs> Empanadas the other day is just super good. Whoa, Sombrita started freaking out. Yeah, I think that's oh, that's why she, yeah. Yeah, I can smell it. Okay, I'll talk to the guy. Thanks so much. Ooh, that's scary. Yeah. Some Brita was freaking out about something. We were trying to figure out if it was her paw or what mm. happened. And There's a live wire sticking out of the ground over there over the yeah. What? So here, I'll, I'll so go. So she got shocked? What? Yeah, you can hear it. Holy, bad luck, Sombrita. So I wonder if I touch that metal right there, if I get shocked. I'm not gonna try. Oh. That ain't good. It looks like somebody kind of spliced off the street power for this light up here. Bit of a shoddy job. Shocked my dog. Good girl. Is she okay? Yeah, I think so. She doesn't want to go back over there. Are you okay? Estás bien, sombrita? Ay, pobrecita. Qué pena. Did you have figuring out what happened now? Yeah, I could hear the wire like sizzling and because of the water from the rain and it was smoking a little bit. So I, I looked down and I was like, oh my gosh. A guy passed by and I guess he was a part of the city because he went and got an electrician to come and look at it. So hopefully Sambrita was only the only victim of that live wire. Jeez. Yeah, that was insane. <sighs> There is such a low chance that she could have stepped on it. Seen that all throughout Central America, sometimes people tap into some kind of an electrical grid under the street. It must have just been that that concrete was pushed down on the wire and probably and it just, yeah, wore, wore off, off the, the housing. She looks like she's starting to... She's calming down. She needed to just sit here for a minute. 
Estás bien, sombrí. Estás bien, mi baby. Oh, baby. That was the scariest because she was jumping and I like really didn't know what was wrong. I was like trying to pick her up because I didn't know what was happening. Oh, Woo. I hate when my baby gets hurt. But she's gonna be okay. Sun just came out and it's great because we are a little wet from wandering around in the rain and it feels really, really good. Yeah, really strong sun up here in the highlands. We checked the elevation this morning. We're at 7,010 feet. I really loved our lunch. It was super tasty. I tried a local stew. They called a cocido. It was a mix of a bunch of things. What did you have? Salted veggies is what they usually call it. And we had, I had some rice with it. And then since Sombrita had a little bit of a traumatic time, we decided to feed her, which we never ever do. So we fed her at the restaurant at the table. <laughs> yeah, she got to have some of my, some, the leftover bone and the yeah. fat, and she was loving it. I think the only other time I can remember was on her birthday. Yeah, we gave her some on her birthday. In we Mexico. gave her some chicken. <laughs> Guatemala. Siéntate. Hola. Oh, muy bien. The only other day I can remember for Sombrita that was probably more stressful, she got bit by a rattlesnake one time. We were camping up at 13,000 feet and we had to book it down this sketchy road. The brake lights came on and then the road was closed yeah. to the vet, but Emily managed to call and get anti-venom. You wanna head back to the van? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, you gotta let her play. Corre! Whoa, whoa, come on, guys. I'm not trying to play. Oh, where let these dogs go? But this dog has followed us the whole way back almost, so I decided to give him the name Novito, which is little boyfriend. <laughs> Waggy tails. Almost back. All right, we're back to the place here. It's really nice little hostel called Renacer Colombian Highlands. I think it's a chain of hostels. And we love this spot, like internet, bathroom, showers, clean, warm showers. Yeah, and it's pretty cool when the, the internet actually reaches the van because a lot of places do have internet, but we would have to sit in a common area or whatever. And the common area here is really nice too. Yeah, and they have just put up the Christmas decorations today. Can we just today. say you guys? I love Christmas. I'll give you a little tour. Yeah, we we are already listening to Christmas music, so I'm stoked about it. <laughs> yeah, up in the back, there's like a house up in there. This area here has a nice courtyard with a bunch of rooms. The rooms here, are 35 a person for the dorm. So like a shared room where you get a bunk bed. Just a little under $10. And that includes Brecky. And we're paying that like combined instead of per person. So we're paying about 10 bucks a night. It's kind of double the normal. You know, it's just really nice. And, and they let us do all of our renovations here. <laughs> so in here's this pretty cool little, little lounge with this Christmas tree. Buenas tardes. And over here, the bathrooms that are closest for us. You can see one of the rooms in here. They got a kitchen with free coffee and tea every day. Another area we were hanging out up here working, doing our digital nomad thing. This is another common area with the common kitchen. This is actually where we left our old plates. <laughs> oh yeah. We, yeah, we asked if they wanted them and they said yes. We left our old place here after we got some new ones. Oh man, let's go hit the van, make some tea, I'm tired. And where's the buddy? How was your day? Huh? You love sniffing cameras. That's so great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have a good day, my boy? I'm gonna make some of this coca tea. 
which is good for the high elevation. You want some coca tea too, Emily? Yeah. We gotta use our new cups. Ooh! Love them. Yeah, these are the cups we just got to match the new plates and everything. And it does kind of match ours. Yeah, we were hoping it would match this teapot. Not bad. Okay, water's ready. We always shut it off down here at the propane tank to clear the propane in the lines. New cups. New cups. Local tea. Oh, when I started this, yo. Fui allá y iban a decirme si um, está cubierto por garantía mi moto ventilador. So they said uh, to call the guy who was helping us. So the assessor. Voicemail. Well, we're not really hearing back about the the engine fan. If we could get it under warranty, it's been like it's gotta have been a while now. A week and a half? A week and a half, yeah. They told me they'd know in a day. <laughs> so, we'll call again tomorrow and, you know, if that doesn't work out, then we can buy the fan in the U.S. when we go back for Christmas. Bring it back down. That's the plan. Cheers! Oh, Ooh, do it again! <laughs> Ooh, great new cups! Yeah! Yeah, I think it tastes more like an herbal tea. Yeah. It's like a, it's like green tea kind of, I think. It's still like pretty mellow. The effects of it are definitely less than a coffee. Yeah, I can drink this right before I sleep. <laughs> pretty much somebody wants to sit here all the time. Everyone has to do the van shuffle sometimes. So somebody this like sitting in the front seat, looking out the window up there, over here, looking out the window. Are you feeling better, baby? And you know, when it happened, when she stepped on the electrical live wire, I just wanted to pick her up. I was like, what is it? Like, what is going on? So, and then we checked her toes and everything and nothing looks like, she doesn't look like she has any burns or anything like that. And also she let me like pull her toes apart and look in between them and touch them everywhere. So I don't think it has any lasting effects. Like nothing hurts her anymore. I think it was like, uh, maybe just a little jolt. I'm gonna drink this and take a quick nap here. You gotta check out my nap setup in here. Now that Danny's awake, I can tell you guys what I was doing, and that was working on the next video. That's almost always what I'm doing if we're not adventuring or doing something else. <laughs> well, Emily does all the editing, but I got my own thing I do, working on my apps. <laughs> it's been a little frustrating lately because my main app now is a photo metadata app, and it kind of bores me whenever I work on it. Oh, I'm so close to finishing this update. Ugh. These things really help me concentrate. You ever think that you yawn so big that it makes it into the time lapse? <laughs> <laughs> so, we done working now? Yeah, I'm all set. I want to make some dinner. I made some good progress on the app. So you watch this. Oh, my turn to watch the video. Of course, Graham's other favorite spot is sitting on anything rectangular. So when you leave your laptop case out, little buddy loves to sit right there, doesn't he? He's the best. So I made us some dinner. It's a ramen stir fry with garlic, onion, carrots, zucchini, corn, and then ramen, of course. I put in some extra little spices, also peanut butter, yeah. Mm. Really, like, really tasty. Mm -hmm. we, weren't too, we weren't super hungry after that big lunch that we had, so I figured I'll just make us a little ramen dinner. <laughs> That's bad. Okay. Back to your blanket, huh? Well, we were starting to wind down, put my shower stuff out and everything, but but there's some people having a fire over there, so let's have a look. 
Even though it rained during the day, we got the fire going with our new friends at the hostel. It was super nice chatting all night, but we're gonna head to bed after getting a shower. We hope you enjoyed our day wandering Via de Leyva together, and we'll see you guys next time.